it was going to cost me around $1,000 um, here in the U.S. to purchase this medication. So. Amber Barr has been documenting her weight loss from the diabetes drug Ozempic on social media. My insurance also does not cover this, so I do have to order my meds from Canada. Showing her American followers how they can order Ozempic from Canada, too. Barr says her insurance won't cover the cost because she's pre-diabetic, so she uses an online service to get a prescription from a doctor she never met and medication delivered from Canada for a lower price. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm stealing medication from people that need it, but I also feel like I'm a person that also needs it. Adults lost up to 14 pounds. Ozempic has become increasingly popular for weight loss, but with shortages and high prices in the U.S., Americans are getting it here. We just don't have enough uh, in Canada to supply a market that's almost 10 times our size. B.C. is limiting exports of Ozempic over fears of a possible shortage. A U.S.-based doctor recently had his Canadian license suspended after thousands of prescriptions written for patients in the U.S. were filled in B.C. There isn't really anything in place to stop it at the moment. This doctor um, in Maine you know, also has a Canadian the medical United license, States but says so far he hasn't used it to help Americans you know, get Ozempic from Canada. Local mom-and-pop pharmacies along the Canadian border are happy to get, have someone walk in and give them a handful of cash to take uh, a medication that then they're going to take back across this, the border into the United States. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's a big issue. Patented drugs are often cheaper in Canada because prices here are regulated by a drug review board, unlike in the U.S. What we're seeing is people having gaps and finding ways to access it. And the reason that we're worried about these non-traditional pathways of access is because... Oh, okay. Prescription drugs, we always want to weigh whether you have a benefit that outweighs the risk of using a drug. So, Allison, it sounds like all this has Canadian pharmacists calling for some action. Well, here in Canada, the main concern is around possible shortages. And the Canadian Pharmacists Association says that its focus is really on protecting the Canadian drug supply for Canadians. And that's not just for Ozempic, but it says that the scale of the demand for Ozempic is really shining a spotlight on this issue. And it says that the federal government and the provinces really need to find a way to keep that supply here in Canada for Canadians. And the Health Canada says that it is monitoring that supply for Canadians and that for now, there is enough for those who need it. All right, Alison Northcott, thank you.